Hey guys, I have two friends with me today, Scout and Tilly. Those are our cats, and so they'll be chilling and having baths back there. Um, today we're going to do a flowers painting, and I had someone ask um, for that, and so I figured since it's Easter that we would do this uh, painting of these lilies here. Um, and so yeah, we'll jump right in here in a sec. So I'm not going to follow the picture completely. I'm going to use it kind of as inspiration. So I'm getting rid of a few different petals here and there, and I'm going to keep three flowers up near the top and then one down on the right hand side. And um, as far as the spacing goes, I'm just kind of trying to do what feels right and, and looks good um, compositionally. Okay, so the idea for this painting um, is, is going to be fairly similar to the cow painting that I did. So if you haven't seen that, um, I'll put a link up here to it and you can, you can go and look at that if you're interested. Um, but the idea is having a lot of areas that are very soft. So we're going to have soft areas down here, soft up here, and then leaving kind of these main details so that the actual lilies themselves to kind of pop. And that's going to be the area where we're going to have quite a bit of detail. Everything else will kind of let it um, mix into each other. So I've got my kind of my basic two or three colors that I'm going to be working with. So I'm going to be working with sap green. I might put a little bit of yellow at times to kind of brighten it up. And then I've got quinacridone rose, which is kind of this pinky purpley color. And then I've got a bit of white that I'll be mixing to go lighter at some places. And then some places I'll just use quinacridone rose full. Um, so that is that. And then the other thing I'm going to do as I go along, I'll be using my spray bottle, especially down here, and just be getting this wet so that when we hit it, it'll just stay nice and soft. We're not going to be hitting hard edges. So I'll start up here, we'll work around the hard edges, get really soft down there. So up in this corner, we're just going to go green right away. I'm going to do some pink. These will be some kind of flowers that are there in the distance. Um, I will be putting in, I'll put in some, some Payne's gray at times. I didn't say that to begin with, but I'm just looking at this picture and realizing there are some darker spots. So we will have some of those. We don't need to be too afraid to put in color at this point because it will go and just lighten up as it dries, but we do need to work fast to get through here. So here is where we need to keep maintaining all these edges down here. We'll just stop there, bring that down there. Whoopsie, lost a bit of that flower. Okay. that touch up some of these edges and then we'll just let it sit and whatever we have here we will deal with and turn it into some flowers so now that's dry, we're going to go through and add some light pink touches here. Um, so what we're looking for, kind of need to almost for each one now, <laughs> figure out which way the, the petal is facing because we kind of went fairly abstract. So this one we'll say is facing this way. We go even lighter. It will of course dry light. 
I'll just bring that down here. That side, and then this one can be facing front ways. Oh, but that one's over there. We'll do this one anyway. So this will be really light, and we'll go that way, like that. Here. This side. Okay. Let me go stronger on the quinacridone rows. And we'll go down here. Here. I'm just going to wet this spot. It has some rows on it. And then, oops, put more in there. Bring that up through that green. Here. Put a little bit of green in that little spot there in a sec. So we'll go back to the light. Um, so I'm using quinacridone rose mixed with a little bit of white for this. And we're going to come up here. And actually, I'm going to do more rows and lighter come across there okay I'm gonna go super light and go here okay that I almost like it white I, I wouldn't mind just giving it the thinnest layer like that. Just like a pink tinge, basically. This petal is going to be darker because it's kind of like facing us. And then we kind of have a petal in here. So it looks like there's a few spots actually here that need to be, need some green to define them. Because I closed some spaces up. So this kind of go like that. And then and here we'll put another little block in here. Kind of give the feeling that there's like a petal coming across there. Like that. Okay. So I'll go a little darker going back to down to this petal. I like how that light kind of blends into the dark. Go like that darker down the bottom and then this petal try to go light again maybe even lighter coming down joining up with that one probably should almost be switching to a smaller brush here in a second down here, we'll just take it quite pinky. Oh, and we've almost lost the bottom of that other one. I'll just do that now. A bit of green before it goes dry. That is too wet probably to try to touch at this point. So we'll leave that one. Do some light pink over the ends of here and then I'm going to water it down so that it kind of fades to white as it comes down maybe put a touch more Oop. touch more pink that'll just bleed down I'll maybe encourage it down one side this side here okay and then there is kind of a petal there but I'll just bring a little bit of pink down here. Don't want that hard edge, so I'm gonna blend that. This is really pale, really bright. And then there is a pink spot here. OK. 
Okay, and here, what's going on here? This is dark. I don't really mind if it bleeds into stuff just because at this point having it loose and watery looks pretty nice. Okay, down here we have another little flower, so go light again. For these spots, this whole spot that I got green, I'm gonna cover that over and kind of, that'll be basically in shadow, which will be great, will look really nice. Okay, here, I'm just gonna actually go really light, cover a bunch of it. Okay, and then darker, and that's gonna go here, here, Okay, I need to switch to a smaller brush at this point, I think. Otherwise the details will start looking muddy. So I'll go and fix up some of these edges because that does not look good. And I want the, I don't, I don't really want dry brush at this point. For some other paintings I might, but I want pretty firm lines Nice edges where I want the edges, and then there are places where I don't want edges, and it can just blend. Okay, just define this petal here a little bit. I'm actually gonna make it combine up with that one. I'm gonna go back to the left hand flower, and we will just touch it up down here. So anywhere, we'll do a little bit in here, and then a little bit over here. A bit down here. I'm just gonna leave that pretty loose because uh, like, I don't want to end up drawing too much. That's the thing with painting, sometimes you, there's times where you can you can draw a lot, like you can really let your brush do the detail, the shaping, and then sometimes you can just make big shapes and leave kind of the rest to the imagination a bit, which which I like. I'm gonna put a tiny bit of gray, do a little bit of a shadow right here, because there is a spot in shadow there, and then this petal here. Oh, a little more. We're not going to get oh, too overcomplicated, so we're actually you know, getting close to where we can start putting in some of the stems. Like I said, I don't really want to overdo it. I might just put in the slightest, whoa, purplish tinge. Very purple. Over here. I like that color. It's nice. That's just a little bit of Prussian blue that I had left over from my last painting. Just mixed it in there. I'm going to do some here. And we'll do some over here. And out here. So now we're going to get in and do some stems. And then we will go back and um, add in the, I'm going to call the stigma part in the middle of the flower. So again, I'm kind of looking for an opportunity to lose these ends somewhere. 
might get down here and then have them fade. Maybe join that one up. Yep. Okay, so I'm gonna just take my spray and I'm gonna do some spots down there, down at the bottom. And then we'll just kind of work our way into it and see how they bleed into there. And then just kind of let them disappear. I'm gonna try to keep them dark because this is wet. It will dry lighter. And I'm not sure I like that hard, this wet uh, dry brush over here. I'm gonna just go like that. So I might bring in a leaf. We'll go light, put in a tiny bit of yellow with a green and just go here. And then kind of do the dark underside of it. Okay, do another dark leaf in here. All of this will give a little more variety to the space in between these flowers. So there, and that can kind of disappear in with that. Okay, and there's another one up here, um, right up here. Bring that across. That one can join up with the bottom of this one. So this one's kind of going behind. And then maybe in here, another one. Okay, I'm gonna give this another spray down here. Save one, oop, probably too much, to, um, to just keep blending. And I'm gonna do a few loose leaves down in this space, just to give the idea of some kind of leaves and foliage that maybe isn't as well-defined. Even have the edge here, this is a little drier. How about it kind of disappear? Ooh, too fat. Come down. Just really let that blend. And then I'm gonna take my smaller brush and I'm gonna define that. Just like that. Keep it loose. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna add a little more to this side as well. Just in here. And I'm gonna try to leave a space in between so that it looks like it's highlighting the edge of that leaf. You can kind of see that happening in the picture. It may end up not looking the greatest. Hopefully, might just lighten that up. I mean, it will dry later, but I'm just afraid I may have gone a little too dark. Okay. I'm gonna go back to the flowers. And there's some ridges in here that I'm just gonna go like that. In here. I don't want to over, I, I kind of want to focus on these two specifically. The rest of it, I don't want to do too much and make it feel like there's too much going on. In the middle of those flowers, the actual like stigma part, I'm probably going to use a quinacridone rose. I'm going to put actually a little bit of green because it gives this kind of a brownie color. Not a brown, but it's like almost a, I don't know, a burnt, burnt floral or something. So, 
go like that in there. Okay, and the same. It's gonna be from, I kinda lost a pedal in there somewhere. But right in here, I might actually define that. And then this stigma thing goes down there. Yeah, I'm just going to go in and it's kind of a pedal here that I'll bring out like that. So I'll just use really, really, really bright quinacridone rose. Like I said, I'd rather not introduce a whole bunch of new colors. We'll just put those on, you know. One guy in there. Here. Okay, and then this one kind of on the end of this. One over here. And then a few in here. And then back here. And here. Okay. And then I'm just gonna touch that middle part as well here. So whoop, too much. Add a bit more color there go in with a little bit of a purple highlight to a few different places. So I'm gonna go like in here, over here, kind of highlight this edge and try to fade that. Like that. We'll put a few in here. I am pretty happy with the way that it's turned out so far. I don't really want to overdo any of it. So I'm just kind of winding down, trying to convince myself now is probably a good time to Stop. Okay, I decided I'm gonna go a little more detail just on these two flowers because I feel like I want the eye to be drawn in there a little more than I feel it is right now. So what I'm gonna do, there's like a little ridge in here. Just bring that in. I just need a few more kind of key details for your eye to be able to latch onto. So like this line in here, if I can bring that in. Don't want them to be too hard, but I just want there to be a little more, a little more to look at there. Bring this over here, here. Over on this side, I just add in a few of these here. Define an edge. So what I've kind of been feeling is that I, I want something a little more dark here to accentuate these highlights, kind of like I did in my portrait painting. So I want darker here to bring out those flowers. And then I also feel like this is kind of hanging in the middle of nowhere and I'd like to complete it, connect it a little bit. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna spray two spots here and then we're gonna go in dark in there and then it will kind of fade right in there and right here. So I'm going Payne's Gray, kind of like that. I'm just kind of getting a whole bunch of, I don't actually really want any, we'll see want green, I guess. We've got to take it all the way to where I wet already. 
here, down there. We'll just go like that. Okay, and right in here we want to lose that edge. Whoops. And that one. So I'll bring that down. Up here. Okay. That can stay like that. Now I kind of want to do a similar thing down here. So I'm gonna have it fade right there and down there. And then we're going to do the same. So a little more green though. We'll kind of just do some stuff like that and do a little more blue. Probably need a little more, whoops, over here. Now, this feels disconnected to me right in here. So I'm just gonna take that and bring it across. Like that. That's still taking some time to dry. And then I'm just gonna throw in a few more leaves around in here and maybe there are some flowers being lost in the background as well okay one more dark one for good measure right there Okay, I, I like that quite a bit better. And it's even pre-signed, there we go. And that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm pretty sure this is the first flower painting I have ever done and I was pretty happy with the way that it turned out. Um, I do have some videos coming up. I'm gonna do one on trees, kind of different types of trees and how to get those different types of trees depending on where you want them in your painting. And then another video I am gonna be doing soon is a Star Wars one. Um, and so if you have any videos that you would like to see, feel free to comment, send me a message on Instagram or Facebook or, um, or on YouTube. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video. And if you haven't yet, subscribe.